here we are just on the screen we're going to go ahead and launch the app and show you how this sucker works so as it fires up it will prompt you if you don't have your GPS on to turn it on but I do as you can see it brings you right to where your location is but you can always zoom out I'll zoom out and show you so here we are all the orange on here these are all the trails We've got a hundred plus thousand miles of trails so what I'm going to do I'll zoom us back into our area where we are real easy what we're doing of course I'm driving in a car right now I wouldn't be able to do this on a sled the video will if you if you happen to be on a trail you will it'll continue to show you the trail um, while it's recording your track this is much different than all the other apps like this that you've seen most of them the trail disappears and you are just left with a blank map so simply I have to start tracking I'm just gonna hit tracking start tracking it asks you to name it by default it gives you the date and the time I'm just going to hit OK I can zoom in on here a little bit more to get you a little bit more detail you can tell it's recording by the little snowmobile guy up in the top corner right on your taskbar and as you can see little red dot and the green that's us being recorded so here we go we're actually on the expressway right now going so it's recording as we're as it's saving this to memory right now but as we're going some of the neat stuff that we got in here is I can go ahead and turn on my location and I'll turn on speed these are overlays now notice it has an arrow pointing in the direction that we're going. It's showing our real-time speed at this point. And also over on the side, you see the right here, this is, this is collecting statistics on our speed. Anywhere right now between zero, which is a standing still, and our max so far has been 64 miles an hour. And it will just keep right on tracking. I can go ahead and uh, make a note. I can what will happen here is I can mark it with a name, with text, record speech, take a picture, or record video. Just for argument's sake, I'm going to take a picture. And I'm actually going to take a picture of the iPhone. <laughs> here we are, so it's just basically a blank screen. Now it just marked that waypoint, added that photo as a waypoint. I can simply click on it and it will bring up the photo. So again, I can also do the same thing, make note. You can do a video, you can write text. So I'll just say, test, okay. And you can see the difference in the icons. That dictates what type of marker was placed. Meanwhile, it's still recording in the background. You would have to go a billion miles for this to have any effect on your storage on your phone. So I can, you know, what's, what's really neat, if you guys want to wait to this point, on tracking, I can pause tracking. I can pause it. It'll stop. Obviously, pretty straightforward on that. I can resume tracking. What's real neat with the app is you can see that you can see the pause mark there where it stopped tracking, even though we kept going. When you actually stop, um, it will turn the green line to red which shows that hey you stopped there so maybe you stopped for lunch somewhere out in the middle of the woods or whatever you just went to a bar or a hotel it will actually show you on your map when you save it um, so just to get to the end of this we'll try to do a better video later um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say stop tracking now it's done and at this point I can share it uh, I can use, either use Google Earth, KMZ file, I could send it as an email attachment. For this, I'm going to select text, I'm going to tweet it. It automatically puts all the information in about the time travel, 3.660 miles an hour. 
It shows you a screenshot. That screenshot can be sent right to Twitter. We'll say OK. Send. That will now be up on Twitter. There, our location finally caught up to us here. Um, what else? Oh, statistics are kind of cool. So here's some statistics. This is, I don't know if you can see that, 3.64 miles. Our travel speed was 59, average speed 61, max speed, number of waypoints. The uh, waypoints of data that comes from uh, Google Maps and other, other areas. Total time and total elevation change. I can also change the map to speed over distance, altitude over time, altitude over distance. So these are all, this is all information that's part of your track that you record. So this will not, is now saved to my SD card. And as I load it, it loads your latest recording. Um, again, you can share it. You can also uh, upload that to sledtracks.com. That's our website that supports the app. And you can see in real time uh, what you, your, your trail will show up in real time on the website. And then every couple of days, we're going to update your apps, which you won't have to do anything on your phone. You won't have to do anything on your phone. You'll just have to start the application, and you'll notice uh, instead of orange trails, you'll see a bunch of green trails. Those will be all of the users of the application who have uploaded their trails um, so you can see where other snowmobilers have gone across the country. Uh, so again, quick tutorial. We'll uh, get some more info on this and some more data.